Well, I'm at the stage now I replaced the uh, main uh, capacitors. You can see these two here. There used to be a couple of Nichicon Mews, and I got some really good low impedance uh, Nippon Chemicon in there. And I've replaced a couple of the uh, Nichicon uh, regular caps in the back. That's all I had the caps that I received so far, and all. I'm still waiting for more caps. Uh, I have the amplifier boards completely removed from the unit now, as you can see. Easy access to the back uh, once the unit is out for changing caps and everything. As you can see where all these things are, where those solders on for the uh, amplifier boards. I'm going to be switching them out to... Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a mod where I can uh, disconnect the amplifier boards without having to unsolder those all the time when I put them back in. That way if I have any problems, I'm not constantly soldering and unsoldering to get them out. I'll just be able to unplug a couple Molex. So the amplifier boards when I'm finished will be re completely remo removable uh, from the back. As you can see over here, there's an amplifier board that's out. And again, I'm going to solder wires to these nine leads here, which will lead to a female Molex, and then from a male Molex back to the uh, power supply solder-ons. And that way I can remove these amplifier boards in and out should I encounter any problems without having to constantly run and desolder those pins all the time. There's one board there, and then here's another one. There's the right channel board. I never did have a problem with the right channel board. The right channel board was fine, but it's going to get recapped anyway. And with this board, I already, I already reheated all the solders on there. I reheated all the solders on the transistors. And... Uh, like I say, I cleaned out the uh, pots, and uh, I'm going to try it the way it is, but once I get the parts for the uh, doing my amplifier board modification, I'm going to try it out. That way I can just take it in and take it out very easily, you know, after the fact. Uh, that's the uh, second video for the uh, Yamaha MX-1000 Rebuild.